Okay, to extend on yesterday's, this is um, for Mike at um, Smart Health and Safety Solutions. This is how you add the H tags to your WordPress or if you have a WordPress backend. On the left hand side, I'm in dashboard at the moment, on the left hand side go to pages. Choose which page you would like to add your headers to. I'm going to choose about and then quite simply choose the header that you'd like to change or the subheading and then here in your uh, tools package basically where your uh, edits and your, your links, your paragraphers are and italics, there's a little drop down box. When the text is selected, click that down and you'll see in there you have all the headers, paragraph, etc, header one through to six. It really is as simple as that. Now some of them will become rather large because that's in the CSS settings. So, to get those, under Appearance menu, we go to Editor. And then, normally down the bottom, you have your styles. Now, we're looking for, generally, the style sheet named style.css. So, we'll open up the style sheet, and we're looking for the H tags. Now, please be careful. If you're not comfortable doing this, then do not do it and get your web designer to do it. The CSS will affect everything if not done correctly. Now, here are my H1 sizes, my H1 uh, tags. There's the information pointing them, telling them what to be, what font to be, the, the weight and everything, and here's the font sizes. Now we've got line height 32, font size 30. So here, if they're coming out too big, then you need to bring that down. So simply at 30, if it's too big, you can bring it down to 20. Go back, have a look at your website. If it's still too big, bring it down to 16, 18. But you don't want them too small. So please remember that. But just as long as they're a good size and they are H1s, then you'll get the, uh, the Google benefit from it. I hope this has helped. As usual, if you need any more help, just give me a shout. Thank you. Bye-bye.